Hey, welcome back to Johnson Family Times. Today we are at Horicon Marsh. We're gonna go check out the boardwalk, see what that's all about. Um, we're gonna fly the drone up right here, but there's a lot of people here. Don't wanna draw too much attention or get in any trouble, so we're going to fly that from the road over there. Yeah, so we're gonna go check out the boardwalk. Here we go. Horicon Marsh and it's beautiful. And we're on a floating boardwalk. Floating. It's a little scary, but we're okay. I mean like since there's a swamp, I think it's just shallow water. I still wouldn't want to go in there. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> He almost just took out that seagull. Oh my god. Well, oh, we're eating lunch and All right, well, <laughs> it's okay for him. I just saw somebody fly a drone over us, so I'm gonna Is that a telescope? I'm gonna do that when we get back. Is that a fly the drone. I think it's a telescope. What? There's I think that's a telescope. Be like me some space. So, what I am noticing is this is the longest pier I've ever been on. <laughs> and it goes on forever, but you definitely get some beautiful sights. Saw a couple cranes. Geese? Geese? Goosen? Geese and a couple cranes. And Check couple. out the pictures I took. Yes. And. Leela's a little scared of this thing, so she's dancing now that she's off of it. This is definitely an interesting place. Mm -hmm. This is actually a very short hike, because I'm betting we're very close to where we need to be. T is back here enjoying himself, eating himself a cracker. I know, because I can hear it. <laughs> but look at this, look at this. Now that we're back to where we parked, we're going to probably fly the drone a little bit and then we'll go check out what else there is at this place to check out. This place is indeed a lot more crowded than I had anticipated it being. Yeah? It's peopley. It's very peopley. Very peopley. Like this area right here, see there's people pulling out on the grass right there because there's so many cars back here. Or because they don't feel like doing it the right way. <laughs> I'm gonna do it the right way 
We're gonna make our way out of here and see what else there is to see. We're gonna check out the elephant. Oh yeah, it's a mammoth. Hey, it's a mammoth. <laughs> mammoth. How'd you like this boardwalk area? I love it. Is it pretty? Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, onward. All right, so we took the long way around, went through Horicon, the city or the town, whatever that is. And we are now here at the Horicon Marsh Visitor Center. The mammoth over there is what we wanted to come see. There is a group around it right now, so we'll see. We'll see what we'll do about that. And on the way here, T fell asleep for a very much needed nap. So I'm not too sure what we're gonna do here. Any he needs to nap his crabbies out for a minute. <laughs> He's a mad boy. No tea. <laughs> Woolly I mammoth. Was, I was trying to climb on the mammoth. I don't think yeah. you can. You don't get to climb on him. Yeah, heck no. So this mammoth, I believe, is made out of iron? Iron? Yeah, I think so, if I remember right. Yeah. He is a lot of pounds, a lot of weight. He weighs a lot. So this mammoth weighs about three and a half tons, which is only half of what a real mammoth weighed, about six to seven tons. Fun fact. He is made of 16,646 pieces of rebar. This thing took 1,300 hours to construct. Nice. And don't forget the, the hunter that's over there hunting the mammoth. Ah, uh, yes. Let's, let's point that out really quick. So we got your mammoth over here. I can sit on it. Your Leela that's sitting on it. But unfortunately, this mammoth is being hunted by another rebar figure. I'm noticing the light isn't at the right angle, but yeah, that's pretty, pretty sweet. And then this building behind me here is the, the Horicon Marsh Education and Visitor Center. It was opened earlier today, but it is no longer open. And I'm only basing that off of seeing the doors open and close when we drove by here on our way to the boardwalks. So we're back, we went for a little walk around the nature center. We checked out the woolly mammoth. We checked out the woolly mammoth and the little guy that's hunting him. They're made out of steel, they're really cool. And we watched a few more birds and looked at the water and then saw a whole school bus full of kids coming up the trail. So we decided to pack it up and we're gonna head home. It's a beautiful place be fun to come here and do some more hiking one day it is unfortunate we weren't able to do as much hiking as we should have but we did spend a lot of time getting here it was a late start to the day trying to find a place that wasn't overcrowded with people but we ended up at a place that was overcrowded with people anyway <laughs> <laughs> and then 
the time it took to come back to this place. We went, we went left when we left because we thought there would be more coming around the other side because we came up from the right. So we went left thinking we'd find more, but there was really no more parts to access. So we'll remember that next time we come up, we'll definitely be coming back again and hiking some more. There's more, more boardwalks over there that we should totally hit up and actually go down those trails. If you want to see more of this, more on the Horicon Marsh and its surrounding area, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And Layla, how 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 was your experience here today? I love it. I if you didn't know this, I really like nature and I love drawing about it. But um overall it was it was really nice. I, I loved it. Awesome. So if if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like all our videos, please hit the big fat red subscribe button. And also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at JFam Times. Thanks for watching. Have, Have a, a Johnsonish Johnson day. day.